What is going on, amazing, beautiful people? Your boy Jeffrey Gamer is back at you with another LSPDFR TTA 5 update video. That's right, folks. We just did a video like this just over a month ago where GTA updated on uh, June 25th, uh, less than a month ago. And here we are again doing another one of these update revert videos. Now, for those that don't know, my game is broken. I don't know why I'm getting this error on my game, but it's a Windows error. It's on my end. And I thought, can I still do a revert video for these folks? And I thought, yes, I can. I could show you how to do it. I just can't show you that it works on how I like to do where as in going into my game and doing it. But if you if you follow, I will link down below my last revert video. Follow that video. The only thing that's going to be different are the version numbers of the GTA. OK, uh, and I, I will still link these files in my uh, discord. So let's get started. This is for Steam users. Now, folks, if you if you heeded my warning last time and you made backup copies of 3258 right now, uh, let's get to our main directory first. For Steam users, you're going to go to your disk drive that your Steam games are installed through. Program files x86. Steam. Steam apps common your gta folder should be right there go ahead and double click it and here's mine and if i scroll down you will see that gta has now updated to uh version 3274 right so your lspdfr your rage and your script took v are for 3258 but your gta updated to 3274 very simple what you're going to do here folks you are simply going to take those four backup files Okay, in this folder, I've got a few other things. That's just because uh, I'm going to be sharing these files in the Discord. But you're going to take the GTA 5 EXE and, and you're going to hover over it. Make sure it says 3258 or whatever version you're reverting to. And you're going to highlight all four of those GTA files. Okay. And you are simply going to, you see that these are two separate windows. These are two separate windows, right? Let me shorten one up. I, I just think they're. It might just be a, this one might be a tad too long. Let me, there we go. Okay, so you're going to take these four files with the 3258, and you're going to left click and drag all four files in here, drop them in. Do you want to replace files? Yes. So now here's your, here's your LSPDFR file that has your 3258 script hook V, 3258 LSPDFR, 3258 rage and now you have your 3258 gta files right and then that's it you can go ahead and launch your game and it should launch for you okay now if you did not make these backup copies right here of the 3258 build don't worry you see this little guy right here i am going to scan it and by the time you see this video, it will be located in the Discord. Let me show you how to get it. Up above, you're going to see the link for the Discord and also down below. And here we are in the Discord right here, folks. And what you're going to want to do is if you're new here, you're going to want to verify. Okay, you're going to want to verify and then you're going to want to wait 10 minutes or so for it to verify you. And then you should see most of these channels here. What you're going to do is you're going to scroll down to the LSPDFR support tab. And right down here, you'll see backup files. In here, you will see, this is an older uh, version. Um, you will see uh, the 3258 WinRAR that I just showed you. And I will rescan it just to show you that I would never do anything to, to hurt your PC or your gaming pleasure. I will be uh, providing my full, not my full, my four GTA, my personal files. I will not supply the entire game as I don't want to pirate the game in its entirety. Okay. I'm just providing those four files. Okay. It's so if you don't have GTA, you're not going to be able to play with just those four files. You need to go purchase the game and download it and get every file that comes with it. Okay. So it's that simple. And then all you're going to do is download the um, four files that I'm going to provide in the WinRAR and go back into your game and you should and then follow the steps where you take those four files and put them into your into your game's main directory 
and then you should be good to go. So that's it, folks. I'm sorry that I can't show you how it works. Like I said, my game is broken on a totally unrelated. It's a Windows issue that I am having. Um, so, uh, but this will work for you and the files are provided in the Discord. So if you're new here and you feel I'm deserving, please consider supporting the channel by uh, hitting that subscribe button and ringing that bell. Also consider giving this video a thumbs up. The more thumbs up this video gets, the more people it can reach and teach as it hopefully did with you. Until next time, everybody, be safe, be healthy, be positive, follow the rules, and obey the law. Your boy Jeffrey Gamer's out. See you on the next one. Later, y'all.